Welcome back to the Pink Couture YouTube channel. I'm Erin, owner of The Fox's Den, and this week I'm going to show you how I did this Gilded Age inspired makeover. I'm going to be using Pink Couture products for this project. So my inspiration were these ceilings from the Gilded Age. I loved all the gold. I loved the paintings of the clouds. So we're going to get started. I'm using this end table. I picked it up secondhand. And as you can see, the top is laminate. It's not real wood. Um, maybe the bottom is, there's parts of it that are. So, but the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna give this whole thing two coats of Paint Couture's two-in-one premium plus primer. This is gonna give me really good adhesion on this fake wood. So we'll just do two coats, nice and even, nice smooth strokes. This primer lays really, really smooth and has almost no brush strokes when you're finished. It is super easy to use. I'm going to dab into all those details and make sure that I'm getting all those little nooks and crannies. Once that primer is fully dry, I am coming in with Paint Couture's acrylic mineral paint in the color Sophia. This is a really beautiful blue-green color. It gave me that right shade I needed for both the base and the background of the sky. So just nice, long, smooth strokes. I will do two coats of this. Make sure to get my edges. I'm gonna get underneath the ledge. And I'm gonna dab into all those details to make sure we get nice, full coverage. So this paint is super easy to apply. It does have a built-in primer and a built-in top coat. The primer is a really great stain blocking. So you can tell we're still gonna dab, make sure I'm getting into every angle. Moving on to the top, I'm going to be doing two coats of Sophia on the top of this end table. Once I lay the paint on, especially when I'm doing longer surfaces, I'm gonna put it in little areas and then I come back with my brush and do long, even strokes across the whole section I just did. This is gonna minimize any brush strokes, which you get very little with this paint anyway. To kind of lay out where my clouds are going to go, I'm coming in with just a piece of chalk. This is just basic everyday chalk and I'm just kind of marking out where I would like for these clouds to be. I did come and dab a bit of yellow and a bit of white to start filling in where the clouds are. And that's my basic layout. We've got some yellow, some white. Before I go too far with the clouds, I do want to get my gold leaf on. So this gold leaf, I'm going to use a glue. I think I used Speedball. I did. This is Speedball. So you put it on, you brush it everywhere you want the gold leaf to go, and you're going to let that dry for 30 minutes. Make sure you let it dry. It's not going to fully dry. It is going to stay a little bit tacky, but that's how you want it to be once you go back to put your gold leaf. So then I'm coming in with my sheets of gold leaf, and you just start to apply, press it down really good in all the areas. There are going to be some spots where if you got the glue somewhere you didn't want it to go, you can come back with your paint later and touch up over top of that. And you just saw my gold leaf blow. Make sure you do your gold leaf without the wind blowing. <laughs> I had my doors open and it was breezy. So I ended up having to go shut it not long after this. So I'm just applying, pulling it back, applying, pulling off the excess. I think I only had to use one sheet of gold leaf for this whole front piece, which was nice. Once your gold leaf's on, you come with a brush and you, a nice dry brush, and you just brush off all the excess gold leaf. And that leaves such a pretty accent behind. I will be doing this on all of these details, all, all of these beautiful little edges that we have on this night, on this end table. So just gonna brush it back and you can see some sections where the glue I went too far, but we're gonna fix that later. Just keep brushing off your gold leaf. It takes this piece, it makes it so luxe. It was such a basic brown end table before, and now it's a whole different piece. So right here, I'm going back with the color Sophia to touch up any mistakes I made with my gold leaf. And if you get some on your gold leaf, don't worry, you can just wipe it off with your finger. So while it's still damp, just wipe it right back. The gold leaf has a lot of sheen, so it's very, very easy to wipe that paint back. So there we are just covering it up. Sometimes you might have to do two coats of the cover up and that's okay, it's super easy to do. 
to give it that antique age look. I'm coming in with Paint Couture's Glaze. This is Van Dyke Brown. And I'm gonna brush it on to all of the gold leaf. I'm gonna brush it onto the paint as well. That's going to give it that aged antique, gilded age vibe that I'm going for. So here I am applying the glaze all over the front and just wiping it back. If you find your glaze isn't wiping back enough, you can spritz it a little bit with water. I like to use a misting bottle so that it's a nice even spray of water. Going all along every bit of gold that we have on this piece, all of the paint, like I said, just brush it on, wipe it back. And there you can see I just gave it a little mist to make sure I could wipe back a little bit more, but it got in that little edge really nicely. You can even mist the piece before you apply the glaze if you know you want to wipe it back quite a bit. And here's when my little puppy came in. She had to watch. She likes to follow the brush, <laughs> likes to see it go back and forth. And that's Izzy, my little painting companion. So just wipe back the glaze. Make sure you get it in all the little details. As you can see, the glaze sets down into all of those little grooves. We're going to get this little piece at the edge. We have a, a nice audience. <laughs> All right, and for the top, it's time to do some more work on these clouds. I am using two colors right now. I'm using Pacific Pearl and Coral Passion. Those are from Paint Couture's Chalk Style line. And I take this brush and I am dipping it into both colors at the same time, keeping the Coral Passion at the tip of the brush and the Pacific Pearl at the bottom of the brush. That way I'm applying both colors at once and they blend in really nicely together. Just keep going back and forth, keep dabbing it on there, and it's going to make this beautiful cloud. This is the easiest way that I have found to do clouds. Just a lot of dabbing, a lot of pouncing, and it makes such an airy, light feel. And then I did get a little bit on my on my gold leaf on the sides, but as before, you can just wipe it back. So just keep pouncing. That's Pacific Pearl and Coral Passion. I'm adding a little bit of Sophia right here in the middle. I will be coming in because I thought I made the cloud a little too big. So I will be fixing that in the middle. Right now, the yellow I am using is called Spanish Sunrise. That is from the acrylic mineral line from Paint Couture. And I'm going over top of it with the coral and the white, just pouncing it and blending it out. This is gonna give the illusion of some sunshine peeking out from behind the cloud. And then I'm just gonna go right back over top with the coral and the white. And I just keep pouncing until I'm happy with the look. And you can see that how I laid out my clouds with chalk isn't necessarily how they stayed. And that's okay because as you work, it's just paint. And if you're not happy with how it is in one spot, you can keep going and paint a little more over top of it. And that's, that's one of the fun things about clouds too. It's just layers and layers. And it, they almost always, almost always end up looking good. Clouds are a great place to start if you're interested in learning how to start hand painting things. Clouds are a perfect place to start. It gives you an idea of highlights and lowlights, some of the technique of creating like a light, airy, flowy vibe. We're gonna work in some more around the bottom, get this cloud extended down. And I'm still just doing the coral and the white, putting both colors on my brush at the same time. Once I wipe back some of the paint on the sides, I wanted to add a little bit more of the look of sun in the sky around that cloud. So once I get the yellow on, I'm coming back in with the blue tones. I'm using Sophia again because that's our base color, but I'm also adding in a little bit of Pink Couture's blue color in their chalk style line called duck egg. Adding in that duck egg is gonna make the blue closer to the sun a little lighter. And then as I work out further into the sky, I'm gonna add more of the Sophia because that's going to be more like a natural sky. It's darker on the edges, lighter near the sun. 
So you can see we're adding the Sophia back in here on the edges just to give it a darker look. For the top, I'm using, again, we want to glaze it because we want it to have that aged antique look. So I'm coming in with the Van Dyke Brown Glaze again. You want to make sure to let it fully dry. I did let this top fully dry before I came in. I applied the glaze, missed it with a little bit of water, and then wipe back with a paper towel. You can see I'm not going in any particular direction. I'm not trying to keep some really nice straight lines or anything like that. But here it is all finished. It's painted. It's glazed. Uh, I think that it hit my inspiration pretty well. The whole Gilded Age look is what I was going for. And I feel like we really achieved it with this look. So let us know if you try this out. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks so much for walking, watching and make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.